is this brute force that has put Lamini's thriving career at risk. He's the first home brute cyclist who has won several competitions here and abroad. The cycling community is now spitting fire after the incident. One would think that a ranger that is being trained on this mountain would be well versed in conflict management because this certainly was a conflict and they should be the ambassadors for the sand parks not the aggressors this mountain has is an icon throughout the world and if this is the way people in the world see how we treat people that for a minor offense is going to be treated I think we're going to lose this whole situation of being the wonderful city that Cape Town is. The news of Lamini's blight spread like a wildfire, sending shock waves throughout the cycling community. We got this news through social media. Um, it came through very quickly from a lot of people that were angry about this whole incident happened, which was totally, totally out of hand. It should never have happened. Um, it, you can see there's more than four rangers involved in something like this and for such a minor offence um, I think that's what ups, what's upset everybody just because he didn't have a permit to have taken such action against the cyclist is totally unacceptable. Lamin is now fighting for his career at a hospital in Cape Town. Manilis, Dubas, SABC News, Cape Town. Right, well, for uh, those of you who don't know much about the cyclist uh, from uh, Capricorn Park in the Western Cape, here's a short video about Nicholas and his involvement with NTT Pro Cycling, formerly known as uh, Team Quebec. I wouldn't imagine being where I am today without bicycles. I think I would have been the same as the guys that I grew up with. They take drugs and all those things. I grew up in Capricorn Park. The challenges we have to face here is that there's a lot of crime in this place. For me, the most difficult thing growing up was not having all the resources. My mom was the only person that was working at the time. My first bike, I believe it was a Peugeot. To me, it looked like the nicest bike on earth. I stored it in the toilet, and, and every five minutes or so, I'd look in the toilet to see if the bike is still there. You know, just then I look at how nice it is. <laughs> One day, I'd like to see all the kids in Capricorn riding bikes. I'm Nicholas Lamini. I'm from Cape Town, South Africa, and I'm a professional cyclist for Dimension Data for Quebec. A team with the story behind it, I mean, putting all the Africans on bicycle and providing them the opportunity to, to race in the international circuit, which I think is really amazing. My biggest dream is to, to represent South Africa in Olympics one day. You've got to want it more than everyone else.